Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and we're at a start to have a new reading vlog that I'm super excited for. I just get excited for every single reading vlog I do. I just did the Paranormal Romance Readathon, and in it, I said I'm dying to read historicals. I'm in such a historical mood. I actually wanted to do an audiobook also with this reading vlog, but I already finished it. I started it yesterday. I think I started at the end of the day Thursday on my way home from work. Read it yesterday on my way to and from work, and then when I was working out today, and then when I was sewing today, and I finished it all. So I'm going to talk about that after I talk about these. It's still kind of part of this vlog, but I've already finished it. But I really have to read The Duke and I by Julia Quinn for the Bridgerton, binging Bridgerton reading along and I'm super excited. I have the original copy. It's so pretty and I can't wait to read this. I don't know anything about it. I do know there is a questionable consent scene at the end where it has to do with, uh, I don't want to spoil it. I'll probably talk about spoilers when I get to it. I already know what the scene involves. We'll see what it is when we get to it and I will see my thoughts on that. So I'm excited to read this though and then I'm gonna read A Duchess a Day. This is what I'm gonna start with because this comes out on Tuesday and the author sent me an arc and I haven't gotten to it yet. It's so floppy and I'm so excited to read it. It's a bodyguard kind of romance. So I'm excited he like assists her to go somewhere protecting her. And then I have to finish My Last Duchess. I got uh, 100 pages in before the Paranormal Romance Readathon started. I only have 150 pages left and it's really good. It's the parent story in the Wild series and our main character, he sees her across the room and is like, I want that. And he actually like sneaks into her carriage and helps kind of save her on the end side of a road and it's super snowy and it's super fun. But she's like, what, what do you, are you serious? Like, what do you see in me? I'm just like a normal person, like a Duke, like he would never want me. And he has eight kids and she has one child. She is widowed and she's like, I'm, I'm not going to take care of eight kids. Like that's crazy. And she loves her daughter. It's so sweet. And so I think he's going to go off and try to like court someone else because she denies him. And then they meet again and he's like no this is the one I want so this sounds really good I'm the rest of it it's really good so far I really like it just came out so that uh, those are my plans and then I will tell you about what I finished so I did read when the Duke was wicked by Lorraine Heath I really wanted to read a Lorraine Heath book so I was just looking on my overdrive and found this and funny story not really a story but Jen from the book refuge was literally reading this the same time I was which was really weird because I'd never heard of this book before and I just saw it on my overdrive and decided to read it she actually has the physical copy and has a really pretty setback so I'm kind of jealous she has it I have to talk to her and ask her what she thought of it but this this one, our main character is really wealthy and she has a large dowry and she doesn't know what men are after her for her money or because they love her. And so she asks her kind of childhood friend, he's older than her though, I think he's like nine years older, but he's always been around and she's always had a crush on him. And she asks him to help her figure out if a man likes her or not. And he is damaged, so I'm gonna do a damaged hero video soon and he lost his wife and his daughter to a, an illness and so trigger warnings for loss of a loved one loss of a child uh, grief and also talks of cancer so the author actually has a note at the end discussing the cancer that's in this book which is very interesting because not that much was known about cancer back in this time period so I thought that was an interesting tackle on cancer because I don't think I've ever read a historical romance that talks about cancer so there is a character that ends up having cancer so trigger warning for that he married really young so he was always very proper and a gentleman and never gave in to like the vices of men at the time once his wife and daughter pass away he really loses himself in women and gambling and drinking and he just does whatever the heck he wants and so she kind of pulls him back into society like he ends up going to a ball because of her and he's trying to help her figure out if a guy likes her or not and he's like freaking out because he's like why am I so intrigued by her why can't I stop looking at her why can't I stop thinking about her this shouldn't be happening she's the opposite of what his wife was and it was really fun it was really good I give it four to five stars I just really like their relationship very much friends to lovers and she kind of has had feelings for him the whole time though and he's still grieving over his loss and can't move on and it was so sweet I really liked it it was fun watching her try to like date men like at balls and stuff like they all have a dance on her dance card and he's like well if a man really likes you he's only looking at you and he's always finding excuses to touch you and talk to you none of those men actually like you so I really enjoyed it it was fun four to five stars recommend but I'm gonna go uh read this I have to go to my parents house OSU game today so well, they're gonna make dinner but I'm gonna read this while I'm over there we'll see how it goes I'm here with Miss Darcy 
and she's just so cute but i'll stop bothering her and come over this way i was just editing a video on there it's gonna be up before this video it is my uh addicting series recommendations so check that video out i have had a busy day so it is uh sunday now and i had dinner at my parents house last night came home watched the game and then watched the biden harris speech which was really exciting and then i fell asleep reading a duchess a day and it's called a duchess a day because our main character wants to like interview or find a duchess a day to try to marry the guy she's betrothed to so that he breaks off the engagement and she's enlisting the help of the bodyguard she has the huntsman huntsman is his name and he only had accepted the job because he was in jail from his previous job because she went missing and they're saying like he killed her and he's like no she just like ran away and so in order to get out of jail and get money he had to take on the job of being her bodyguard he's not escorting her to her, her duke she's already there which i thought he was escorting her but um he's just to watch over her so she doesn't run away and she's been engaged in for five years and she's determined not to be and things are spicing up between them there's like chemistry between them and it's really good she knows that he's not really like a footman or groomsman or whatever and that he was probably a spy and uh he's like starting to like her so it's really cute i'm enjoying this i'm only 100 pages in maybe i'll read more today but then i did start the duke and i and i've actually listened to half of it already so i was listening to dear martin by nick stone very very good book almost started crying on my walk with the dogs because it was so sad and i finished that it was a pretty short audiobook and then i started listening to duke and i when i was sewing for my etsy shop that's always linked down below and when i was cleaning so i did go through a bunch of my clothes and i'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff that i haven't worn in like three years i got through half of it and we're starting our discussion tomorrow for the bridgerton readathon and we're only talking about chapters one through nine on wednesday and then on saturday we can do spoilery stuff so i'm gonna write down some like discussion questions i have about the first nine to like help with discussion and then write some more for the second half so i wanted to take a break from that but it's so good i'm loving it i didn't know it was fake dating i love simon so much he the beginning's really sad so trigger warning for definitely loss of a child his mother loses like five children and so she has like five miscarriages and it's really really sad and the duke like doesn't care Simon's dad. He's like, I need a son. I need a son. And they're like, she's probably going to die if she has another child. He's like, well, I need a son. So she finally got pregnant again and died giving birth to Simon, which is really, really sad. And the Duke like didn't care that she died. He just wanted a son. And then Simon actually has a stutter. I love that representation. And it's always really sad when someone with a disability is in that time period because his father's absolutely ashamed of him and basically like disowns him because of his stutter. And so Simon really had to practice and kind of control his stutter and like have different strategies he has to be able to speak clearly and he still faces some difficulties as an adult but like he has different things that he does in order to cover up his stutter and so i'm interested to see like where that leads because he just doesn't talk a lot and people think that he's just very arrogant and impressive i guess because he never speaks he just doesn't have to according to them but it's really because he doesn't want to risk stuttering when he speaks so i love that we have a hero who stutters in this and i'll be interested to see if daphne knows i think it's daphne right i love her too she's fun and they have to fake date because she wants um like someone more interested in her i guess and so now that she's apparently like being courted by a duke everyone's interested in her and he just wants crazy mothers of debutantes off his back so it's a lot of fun and he's also her brother's best friend and so i just got to a scene that's really funny but i don't want to spoil it so i'm loving this i am aware can we see miss darcy she's a little cutie i am aware of the bad scene at the end so i'm hesitant to get to there but i love it i love all the family and i love everything about it so i'm excited to read more and i'm so excited for the show now so excited and so excited for everyone else's books i've been looking at the back of the books that i have to see like whose book is next because i can't wait but Yep, that's all I have so far. So I'll talk to you guys later today, maybe? I don't know. I'm just gonna hang today. We gotta watch Below Deck. The new season came on, which I'm very excited, and I'm super annoyed about The Bachelorette. I don't know if I'll watch that anymore. I stopped watching The Bachelorette when it was Colton season. Like, I was done. I didn't care anymore about The Bachelor Bachelorette. But then this season, I decided to watch it because it was Claire, and I knew it was gonna be crazy, and my coworker convinced me, and I hate it now. <laughs> so Claire's so annoying. We just watched Great British Baking Show too, the newest episode. It was really good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. 
So I'm in my library and I got a lot of Karen Robards books, which I think I got these on Saturday. And so this one is super pretty. I love that step back. These are all super gorgeous covers. And they have like the raised text. Even her name is like embossed, whatever it's called. I don't think that's embossed. I don't remember what it's called when it's the title. This one does too, but not her name. I love this one. This one, the original cover is gorgeous, but I got this cover in the lot. I was looking up to talk to another teacher about it because she's read Karen Robard's Contemporary. And I thought this was contemporary, but the original cover is definitely a historical cover. And the last one. They're so pretty. Just thought I'd show them to you. Came in the mail. Hi, Miss Lily. <laughs> you happy? My bed literally never gets made because... As I'm getting ready, Lily's curled up in all the blankets in the morning, and then when I leave, she sometimes stays in my bed when I leave. So she always makes a little mess out of herself. So I never make my bed, because it's just the dogs mess it up anyways. But, got my Avalander pillow behind me. I have some updates. So, I worked out today, so excuse the mess of my hair. But I have like 20 pages left of A Duchess a Day, and I already know many before stars. It's super cute, and it was a little slow going around the middle. She's trying to find seven different duchesses named after the seven dwarves to pretty much seduce her betrothed duke so that they can be a duchess and she can go marry whoever she wants. And she's falling in love with her bodyguard, and it's really, really cute. And he he's so sweet he just wants to take care of his family get money for his family and not go back to jail so that's why he has this job and it's fun watching them go after all these women and their relationship at the end is so angsty so angsty because he knows he wants to take care of his family and not go back to jail but he wants to be with her but he's like i can't do that if i want a good future so it's really sad but i have about 20 pages left and it's just really really cute and i know i'm giving it four stars so that's why i want to talk to you about it i just love how angsty it got at the end between them and it was good. It was a really fun romance. I liked the twist on Snow White because she, our main character, forgetting her name, she is a like orchard nurturer. <laughs> like she has her apples in her orchards and I'm not sure if I already explained this, but she got land from her grandmother, which is like where her apple orchards are next to a river and the duke wants it for his own like limestone company. He needs access to the river through her orchards. So he wants her to marry like his son, the Duke. I don't know how all that works, but he wants the, her family and the Duke's family want them to be, get married so that they can use her land and because the husband would control of her land. So that's why they wanted her to marry him and she doesn't want to because he's an awful human being and she wants to keep her apple orchard. So it's really fun. I really liked it in the whole seven dwarves with the seven women was really fun too. So enjoying that the duke and i so the discord chat started and i'm loving it so far no spoilers until wednesday we can talk about this video i think is going to go up wednesday i'm loving this romance it's except so it's fake dating which i didn't know which is a lot of fun and i don't want to spoil any other tropes because it's a spoiler for the rest of the book but i love simon so much he's so just damaged but genuinely just doesn't want to hurt anybody and he's really intrigued by Daphne which is cute and I love Daphne's family she's super close with her brothers and her sisters but especially Colin and Anthony and I love how protective they are over her like there's almost a duel in here because they're trying to protect their sister's honor which I think is so adorable I cannot wait for their books I already think I told you I started looking at the other books to see whose books comes next and I'm excited to continue on with the series but I have about two and a half hours left of the audio and I just caught to the scene. I thought it happened more towards the end, but it happened now. And it felt so violating how it happened. I knew the premise of it. So I'll, when we talk about like non-consensual scenes, it sounds like someone was forced into a sexual situation. And it pretty much was that. So I'm going to talk about it a little spoilery. So I'll put spoilers down here. But what happens is he's determined not to have any children because he wants to stick it to his dad and show him, I'm not going to carry on the Duke's name. It's going to die with me. Just as a kind of last like screw you to his dad right and Daphne says he her fa his father is literally in the bedroom with them because it's like the reason you don't finish be is because you don't want a child and every time that happens you're thinking about how you're sticking it to your dad and you're doing it because of your dad and that's not 
us anymore and she's saying it's just you need to let it go you need to let your father go and she's horrified because he lied to her he said he couldn't have kids but it's really he doesn't want to and he refuses to and she feels betrayed because of that so he gets drunk and she instigates relations and he kind of resists when it's time and she doesn't let him so there's a possibility a baby was created and it just felt she deliberately instigated sexual relations while he was drunk knowing she could force him to probably make a baby and being married and in that trusting relationship that she would just violate him so much like that really I was listening to it and I was like this is how this is gonna happen that's terrifying so terrifying it really made me feel gross listening to that scene and i read a bunch of different perspectives people thinking it's necessary for the growth in their relationship for him to finally overcome his issues with his dad and live for himself but i think it could have been done without that scene honestly it just felt so violating and she's supposed to be the one person he trusts the most in the world as his wife someone who you're super vulnerable with and she did that while he was drunk and that was gross and i did not appreciate it whatsoever i really liked daphne as a character but when she just did that i'm just like no i know you're trying to help him i know you're trying to get him to overcome his past and how hurt he is by it but i did not approve of that whatsoever i don't think it was necessary i feel like there were other ways he could have overcome that i don't know how but there are other ways that authors have gotten someone to overcome their not wanting to have children because not because of like if they're not their desire to like be a parent that's totally fine but when it's like rooted in other things and it's hurting the other person in the couple like there are other ways they could overcome that together so it was really sad like there are other ways you can deal with that. It just, it just, I did not like that scene. I was prepared for it, but not because I was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's the scene. And I know. So <sighs> yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. Cause we still have two and a half hours left. But other than that, I really love it. But I honestly cannot give this book five stars with that scene in here. I was all ready to give it five stars and I was like, oh, it's not that bad. Probably like what happens. I like, they could probably be argued either way. Looked at, no, it's not. She definitely violates him non-consensually, so <sighs> kind of disappointed in that, but I don't think we have any of those issues in the rest of the books, so I'm excited to read them, but I'm going to finish and probably update you guys tomorrow. I have conferences tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to finish this on my drive to and from work, so I'll update you guys when I get home tomorrow. Hey guys, so a little bit of a new view for you. I'm in my loft right now because it is almost 8 o'clock at night and I felt like doing a different kind of viewpoint for you instead of downstairs like I always am, but... I have my beautiful sleeves behind me. These are all in my shop. And if you use the code Peace Love Books or Peace Love Books 10, I don't remember it. Use my code down below and you get 10% off of my shop, which is how books sleep for them. But I did just get home and have my Hello Lovely scarf that was in one of their boxes lately. And I want to show you my new sweatshirt I bought from them. So they had these restocked and this one says we are the revolution with the uh, neck piece that Ruth Bader Ginsburg would wear. And... I love it and I am excited to have this because girl power and to celebrate the fact that we have a female vice president for the very first time very exciting so that's why I bought this just to celebrate that and to commemorate Ruth and what uh, an amazing woman she was so I'm very excited that I got this I bought it with my own money though I am a rep for them and they did open up their rep search for Hello Lovely so if you're interested if you have a bookstagram or a booktube go check that out but I have finished my books so at work I had conferences so I was at work from 7:30 this morning morning well really seven o'clock because I get to work early to 7 30 at night so it was over a 12 hour day but I stuck in a little bit of reading time since I didn't have any conferences so I did finish my last duchess and I am giving this a four to five stars it was super cute it's really short it's 250 pages but the font is giant and so it does have another novella short story in it that I didn't read but I just read the main book in the book <laughs> and 
it was adorable. It was the parent story for the Wild series, and I loved seeing all the children. So they have eight children. He does, and she has one, and then she has another one by the end, which you know because if you've read the series. And so I really loved seeing all the kids. It was so fun. I loved reading it after reading the entire series. It's technically point five. I do think it reads better if you read the entire series first, and then I saw all them as little children, and they were so freaking adorable. And I loved how fun the romance was, and it was fun. So like he Hugo was in love at first sight with Ophelia and she's like no I'm not special like I am a widow like I need to focus on my child so he tries to court someone else absolutely can't stand her and is like no Ophelia is the one like she's gonna be a perfect mother for my kids and so they're both single parents which I love I love all the children they were so much fun in here so four to five stars I just wish it was longer because I don't think uh, it was long enough. Because it was definitely not 250 pages if you put it in a normal book. The font was giant in this book. But I also finished The Duke and I. I finished my audio on my way home today. And it was good. I'm giving it 4 to 5 stars. Again, because of that scene. I really love the growth that Simon went through. He's definitely a damaged hero. I have a damaged hero video coming out Friday. And I wish I'd waited to film it. Because then I would have put The Duke and I in it. But I couldn't. So that's coming on Friday. So wait for that. But... I really loved it. I like the growth of their relationship. The only reason it's getting four stars is because I think that scene was just too violating on Daphne's part. Like, she really should not have taken advantage of him like that. I know why she was doing it and where that led their relationship as a couple, but I wish the author used something else to get them to that point than what she used. I am super excited to read all the other siblings' books. It kind of reminds me of the Wild series because there's like eight of them in the Duke and I series, which is really funny, the Bridgertons. And the there were like eight wild children as well in Eloisa James's series and I love how it's kind of told like Gossip Girl. We have Lady Whistledon or Whistledown who is narrating gossip and that's gonna be Julie Andrews in the show so I'm very excited. I might do a trailer reaction. Let me know if you're interested in that if you want me to watch the trailer and record my reaction because I haven't watched it yet and now that I know everybody I'm very excited but Simon's definitely breaks my heart. And I love that he has a stutter and I love that he has this reputation and that he really falls for Daphne and she has all these overbearing brothers and it was amazing. I really loved it. Would have gotten a five stars if we didn't have that scene in there. So those are my thoughts. Uh, that's all I have for this video. I read uh, three historical romances and not too shabby. They were all four star reads, which is really great. So I definitely recommend picking up all of these. But that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.